Welcome to My Fusion Technologies. Today I came up with an interesting topic that is called Documents of Records in Oracle Fusion HCM. Before we get into actual discussion, I would request everyone kindly watch this video till the end. And if you find this video is interesting, please subscribe to my channel and share it with all your Fusion friends. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see what is the significance of Documents of Records in Fusion HCM. And how do we configure the documents of records and and then we will see how to utilize the document of record as an employee and as a HR specialist typically documents of record give the flexibility to the employee to upload documents such as visas passport medical results degree certificates and also monthly pay slip taxi air and files, annual compensation letters, and employee agreement letters, etc. Documents of record give rich flexibility to configure approval and also configure the context to segment fields, override the preference, and set up notifications. This all can be done using documents of records. In order to configure the documents of records, in Fusion application, there are three tasks that must be configured. Those are document subcategories and subcategories and document types. Now we will go ahead and see how to configure categories, subcategories, and document type types. Okay, let's go ahead and see in the application now. So now I logged in as an admin. So in order to create this, first we have to create the categories. So to create the document categories, we have to go to the setup and minus. From setup and minus, we have to look for the task called define documents or you can go to the manage common lookup task. From there, you can search for the document category lookup code. Either ways. So now what I will do, I will go ahead and search for the task called define documents. Define documents. This way you can go ahead and configure the document categories or else you can use the manage common lookup. From there you can search for the uh, document category lookup code through which we can configure the document category. So from this task now I'm clicking on document lookups. So yeah select the document category click on the document category as soon as you click on the document category it will open the document category lookup page or once document type lookup pages appear then this is the place where you have to come and you have to add your lookup value now i'm adding my lookup code as E L E, so I'm giving dates as 01 01 1901, and then end date I'm giving 4712 1231. Here I'm giving okay, so yeah, let me correct it 31 4712. Legal, legal agreement. So yeah, take the same code here and put over here. And then, so if you want to restrict this lookup code to specific country, then you can specify the country code over here. If not, it will be visible for all the countries if you don't specify any tag value right now i'm not specifying anything which means this lookup code is accessible to all the countries just save and close it so this is how we can create the document category once you create the document category the next step what we have to do we have to create the document subcategories in order to create the document subcategories go to the task called manage 
extend it look up codes click on the task name once you click on the task name manage extended lookup code page will be appear this is the place now to define the categories so first we have to select the document category lookup type once you click the document lookup type category then once you select the lookup type as document category then scroll down here and this is the place where you have to add your category for the document so just click on add once you click on add so yeah so this is the place first you have to select your document what is your document legal agreement this is my document category and then you have to specify the code over here lg agg that's my agreement code and then you have to specify the name here employee legal agreement that's the name that i'm giving to my document category and then if you want to restrict this category to a specific country you can select the respect to country here or else if you don't specify anything then this category will be visible for all the country can be accessed by all the countries then save it and then click on done yes now if you see here our document under document category we have added a new document category so while adding document category we have associated while adding document subcategory we have associated document category so once we are done with this just click on done the next step is we have to create the document type in order to create a document type just go here search for a task called document type and then click on document type So once you click on document type, so in order to create new document type, just go here. So this is the document type page. So you need to pass all these parameters. So document type, what is the name of your document type? That name you have to specify here. I'm giving employee legal agreement. It specifies the name of document type so i'm giving description as the well, same and the country so how does this document type can be accessed does it accessible for all the countries or does it accessible only for a specific country so right now i'm giving country as all countries and then we have to give the category so this is where we have to select our category what is our category we have selected we have created our uh, document category as legal agreement so i'm selecting legal agreement here so once you click on subcategory so automatically whatever the uh, subcategory that has been associated with the document category that will be shown up here for this document what we have done we have associated employee legal agreement that is the subcategory so why it is showing only one because for this category we have associated only one subcategory that's the reason it's showing only one if you want to have multiple values then you can go ahead and associate multiple subcategories for this document at manage extended lookup codes task and then make it as make sure set status as actual okay then if you see here expiration notes notification period this is used to send notification if document is going to expire then if you select this one then here notification period can be specified 
if you want to utilize this right now i'm not going to utilize this and minimum attachment so this is used to specify worker has to compulsory attach some attachments whenever we are going to utilize this document right if you give zero then there is no necessity to attach any document if you want to utilize this document type right now i'm giving at minimum attachments as zero only and then if you go to the approval required task if you wanted to set up any approval and whenever you want to utilize this document type it must be routed to the approval then only we have to select it as yes if not then leave it as or select it as no by default however it is and then allow multiple occurrences if you select it as, as no then this doesn't allow user to submit multiple legal agreements if you select it as s then this will allow user to submit multiple legal agreements so i am i want employee to submit multiple legal agreements so that's the reason i'm keeping it as yes and then publish required so generally if you want any document to be available only between specific time frame then we choose yes since we want workers to submit medical or legal agreement anytime it is set to no right now so if you select it as yes, then so it then if you want any document to be available on this between specific time frame then we have to select it as yes but right now i'm not going to select it as and below you will have enable document references so yeah by default it is selected as no that's fine and then if you scroll down in the below section you will have document record references so restrict create if you select this one so if you select restrict create no then nothing can be created so once a document is created if you want any modification to be done on top of this then you can select it as yes if not then you can select it as no by default i'm select by default it is selected as no so i'm selecting thing as yes as soon as you select restrict updated as yes, automatically restrict it also will be selected as yes because we we are allowing worker to update the document type only once it has been created that's what it means and then below you have to select whatever the attributes that you wanted to use in this document right now i'm using all the document and if you want to make anything as mandatory you can select it as mandatory also i'm selecting from date and document name are mandatory so these two options i have selected yeah this is how i am creating document these are parameters that i pass document type document category i have selected here and document subcategory i have selected here and then allow multiple occurrences i selected as yes because i want employee to submit multiple documents using this document type then submit it once you submit your document type if you go and search for this document type now you can see this document type is created So just to cross check, just search for the document type. My document has been created successfully. I can see the document name, category, subcategory, all the options here. Since I have not selected approval required as yes, it is showing blank here. If you select approval required as yes, then you can see that option here yeah i'm good with my document type now let's go ahead and see how this document type can be utilized as an employee and hr specialist typical hr specialist what he does he will assign the document type to the employees for any employee he can go ahead and apply to do the same just click on my client group then click on person management as soon as you click on person management person management page will be appeared search for any person here
so yeah and then go to task call documents of record just click on documents of record so this is the place where we can attach or where we can store any documents of record against employee so now click on document type and then search for your document type my document type is employee legal agreement so just click on employee legal agreement so as soon as you select the document type automatically whatever the parameters that have been selected under this document type those will be shown up here yeah so yeah so since you made name and from date are mandatory these two are showing with asterisk mark rest of them are not mandatory so category and subcategory whatever you mentioned here those are showing up and you can specify the document type whatever you are implementing so agreement letter agreement letter and document name you can specify moft one two three four something like that and from which it amounts you are going to store this document so i would say from this month onwards i'm going to store this document and rest of the fields are not mandatory if you want you can utilize it yeah and then submit it so whatever we have done this is the way of in case if you want to select the country here you can select it here since these are not mandatory I'm not selecting here okay now yeah document type has been created as a HR specialist, this is how we can assign the, uh, this is how we can allocate the document types to the employees. As an employee, how do we upload document types? In order to upload documents of as an employee, go to me, under me, click on document type. So person information, just click on person information. I think we can see under the person information. Yeah, this is the icon that you have to click on. Just go to person information under person information go over here and then click on add. So now search for your document type which has been created just before. Our document type is legal employee legal agreement. Yeah. So yeah, as soon as you select the document type, automatically all these parameters are populated. And then whatever the attributes that you have selected under this document type as mandatory, those will be shown as those will shown up as mandatory document attributes, and rest of them are not mandatory. If you want, you can enter them. If not, you can leave it. But these two are mandatory. Without entering these two mandatory values, it will not allow you to submit your document type. In case if you have set up any approval, as soon as you select the document type, automatically that will go for approval. And then if you want to specify issue country here, you can select it here and then issuing location if you want to specify you can specify the location also here okay. issued on date if you want to specify issue on date also you can specify here and issue if you want to specify comments or if you want to attach any attachment to this document all this can be done on this page itself then submit it this is how we can utilize the documents of record as a employee and HR specialist hope you understand in case if you have any concern please revert it back to me so that I will help you with those questions thanks for watching thank you